Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to the first 1080p 60fps video that I've ever done. So, this is the next part of Victor. Um, you can see I've already taken off the UPC so I can send in the rebate. But, this is the Power Color PCS Plus Radeon R9 390. Now, when I bought this, it was about two. 99 I want to say on uh, on uh, Newegg. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I've already cut open the tape, so let me just slide this out. And to kind of just talk about the the card a little bit, um, it is the 390 architecture. So people are saying that it's just a rebrand. However, I can't see anything similar with um, the 390 compared to I think they called it the 270, the R7 270. Um, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but I can't see anything similar between the two. So it doesn't really make sense to me. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's lift the graphics card out. Now the first thing I notice is that this thing is hella heavy. Like, this thing is really, really heavy. Um, there we go. So we have a, um, what appears to be a, uh, I think that's a 6-pin to 8-pin connector, I believe. Yeah, 6-pin to 8-pin. Toss that off to the side, and lift this up, and we have some documentation, and a, uh, I believe this is the settings disk, or install disk for it, so there's that, going to toss this off to the side, and then the card. going to go ahead and slide that baby out of there. So, this is the Power Color Radeon R9 390. Um, so, yeah, this is the 8 gig model, obviously, and it takes an 8 pin and a 6 pin. So, holy crap, a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, but it, what I love about it is that it has this back plate. So this back plate is going to be amazing for when I'm, uh, like, when I have to touch it and stuff. So it gives me a nice sturdy grip. Now, something that I did notice, and I don't know how well it will come off in the video, but this uh, panel here appears to be bent for some reason and I don't know why like and again I'm not sure how well it will come off in the video but it seems like it's bent so uh, honestly this is a giant ass card because apparently it takes up three uh, slots so this is not for the faint of heart to be honest so yeah it's a great card as far as what I can tell um, from the reviews and everything, but it honestly, I think that this will be the beginning of a lot of cool projects and stuff like that. So it has DVI-I and DVI-D, as well as one HDMI and one Display Port. Um, another cool feature that I found is the fact that it has, and I don't know how well this will come off on camera, uh, come on focus, uh, there we go, it has a dual BIOS setting. So that is really, really cool. 
that this has dual BIOS. So in the case that you break one, you can just switch to the other and you don't have to worry about sending the car back in frustration. If you will, please give a like rating on this video. It'll help me out a lot. Um, if you want to see what camera I'm now using, go ahead and drop me a subscribe because I will be doing a review on it very shortly. Um, if you want to support me, there are PayPal donation links down below as well as a um, page that you can change your eBay and Amazon affiliate code S sorry, bookmarks to my ones with my affiliate code. Sorry, it's really early in the morning, as you can't tell because zoomed in. But yeah, it's kind of early. Um, but still, I want to thank everyone who uh, stopped by to watch the unboxing of this. Um, this is one of the parts of Victor. You guys have already seen the Asus monitor. Um, so far, really good. Review coming very shortly. And now this so well, again without further ado I want to thank you all for watching don't forget to leave a rating uh, and you know subscribe if you're awesome and if you're not well I guess you're still awesome because you guys watched this video so again I'll see you all in the next one and peace yeah.